who is the last non-white guy to win the NFL MVP that wasn't a quarterback? I don't understand when you say non-white guy. Uh, I mean, non-black guy, I mean. Why, listen, hold on, let me say it the right way. Mm -hmm. Get me all confused. Okay, the last white guy to win the MVP in the NFL and the quarterback. First of all, the Ed, I've said it before. I say it to you again now. In my world, I don't care if you're black or white. I only care if you're black and gold. But all right. It don't matter. Who was the last MVP, non-quarterback, Caucasian man, right? Yeah. It would be MVP. Offensive or defensive, does it make a difference? I don't know. It would be special teams. I don't care. Well, I think that Brian Urlacher was uh, probably a defensive MVP somewhere in the last... No, 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 the years. NFL League MVP, man. Not defensive MVP. What are you talking about? That's why it's confusing with the NFL no, MVPs. They go no, offensive the NFL MVP. only gives out one MVP. Peyton Manning won it this year. Um. All right. Who could it possibly be? CJ, do you have any guesses you want to throw in here? I. I wow, this is a tough one. Uh, I Just tell me. No. I don't have a guess, John Riggins. Oh, how about this? Mark Mosley. Mark Mosley won the MVP back in uh, the year that uh, the Redskins went to Super Bowl 18 and lost to the Raiders. Yep, that's the one. Is that right? How about a that? A lot of people don't know that, man. And plus, he was a special team. <laughs> oh, you did give me a little clue there, didn't you? I thought you were. I did it. Yeah, you did. You really did. Well, but I tried, I... I tried to give you a trick. Didn't I do it, though? Aren't I the one who got it correct? Yeah, you looked it up on the internet. You I am probably not, got internet at your job. I don't, but but I am not looking at the computer as we speak. No, unlike you, I devote all my attention to what I am doing when we're doing the show. I don't uh, eat French fries and drink soda pops. Well, I do that on my lunch break. It was my lunch break. All right, good. So I'll let you get back to your lunch break or whatever you're doing sure there. All right. Well, either way, I'll let you go. You can go shoot a bow and arrow and figure that figure it out. Hopefully, it goes better this time, and hopefully next hey, listen, time. Listen, man. Listen, you kicked me off your message board, and I really don't appreciate it. I didn't take you off. Dam we have Damashek. We have Damashek dot com. It's up there. People are talking about the Super Bowl. They're talking about subjects that we bring up here on the show regarding the Super Bowl and other sports related issues, and because. People enjoy hearing you for the most part. I thought it would be nice if I gave you a little section there. You've been nice enough to set yeah. up a bunch of little leagues that people who listen to the show can participate in through uh, through ESPN.com. You've set up a bunch of different little leagues there for everybody, NBA, NHL, so on and so forth. And so we gave that its own little section run by yeah, but you. But now no one can find out where I'm at, and I'm down 75%. That's not true at all. You're down set. What's with making up stuff? Listen, that's a, stop with the hooey and applesauce. It's a nice I thing. Mean, People true. can talk to you directly now. Huh? They don't have to seek you out. It's right there, the ad. They can they drop you a line. People on the message board are not smart enough to understand that. I, well, that's not nice to insult people who are interested in tracking you down. They don't know that they got to go and look for where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my own website. I don't care. All right, listen. Do what you have to do, the Ed. Would you like to leave us with a song, or should I just say goodbye? I mean, what kind of song do you want to hear? I man? thought I gave you the framework already. I thought you might want to make a nice little musical conclusion to the NFL season. If you don't, no trouble. Who can it be knocking at my door? Go away. Steelers don't live here no more. Can't you see that it's late at night? They are tired and they won't win tonight. Who can it be now, Steelers? Ooh, I don't like Steelers. Well, I'm sorry you don't like the Steelers, but they are for the sixth and time man now. Come to take me away. Why do they follow? You ever heard of Minute Work, that group? Sure, I'm surprised you have. I wouldn't expect. Yeah, I that downloaded you do. that on uh, on the internet. Good for I you. You really the whole song, man. You're, you're a 21st century Renaissance man, the Ed. You figured out how to download music. You're better at it than I am. It sounds like. Yeah, I know. I downloaded. I got on. I don't got no i like the iPad thing. Sure. Did you listen to music on? Sure. I, I don't got one of those, but my computer. I got 
717 songs I downloaded the other day. Yeah, you know what I think would be nice is if you downloaded the Damashek podcast. You can do it five days a week. That would be nice. You could just go to 710ESPN.com, 1250ESPN.com. You I download finally, it every I, day. I finally listened to that the other day. I listened to it the other day, finally. Yeah, yeah and how'd you like it? Yeah. No, not All good? right, I mean... Not your cup of tea? Well, I mean... You didn't have a lot of exciting guests. Why well, have you? I'm not a guest. Well, kind of you are. Huh? Listen, let's cut this short. You usually pay most of them people to come on. No, I don't. I, I they pay told no me one. that you have to bribe people to come on your show. That's not true at all. I don't. I don't pay anyone a dime to do it. Maybe that's why they don't come on. Uh, well, you know, we talked to Ron Jaworski and Mayor Hodgson last week. You hear the Houston Texans week. are talking about going back to be the Houston Oilers. Is that true? Yeah. Really? Well, that would be. Yeah. I, I kind of would like that move. Actually, that would be a. Yeah, a, they said. They said, man, we can't win as the Texans. They even talking about maybe bringing back Dan Pastorini and Earl Campbell to play. No, I'm sure that's not true. They're they're both uh, they're both getting up there quite a bit. They're talking about it. Okay. Well, we'll see. All right, Dad. Listen, and we'll. The Steelers. Uh huh. I'm gonna tell you, I saw the silliest thing on TV. Mm-hmm. I gotta go though, the Ed. Listen. Make it make it quick. All right, listen. You got your ears on? Yes, I do. All right. They are selling those terrible towels. Yes. Super Bowl edition. They're white with the Super Bowl logo. Is that outrageous? They're white towels. Yeah, no, they're supposed to be gold that's or a black, disgrace, right? Yeah, they're supposed to be gold or black. That's, yeah, what that's the late great Oh, get the commemorative Super Bowl terrible towel. Twenty four ninety nine. Wow, that is see that does seem expensive for. Uh, I get a washcloth. I get a yellow washcloth over at Walmart for a dollar forty nine, man. Yeah, well, listen, get that's a how black Coke magic marker and, and write terrible towel right on it. That was it when they were first conceived by Cope. That's exactly how it was. You just were encouraged to bring a towel from home, either black or gold. That was it. And then they got a little fancier. But listen, Cope but gives all that money to charity and everything. He's a, it's, a, it's a great move. It's a great uh, a great thing to be a they part of. They stole that from the Colts because the Baltimore Colts used to have that. No, they didn't. Yeah. No, they didn't. Yeah. No. They had it. But it was a, it was like a sheet, a bed sheet. No, there was never a bed sheet. What, people? And they had like four people on each end of it, and mm. they'd wave it and make all the waves come in. And they drew like a horse on it, and it looked like the horse was. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was a horse like sound. In Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore Colts. Yeah. What does the horse they... sound like again? You sound ridiculous, the Ed. Well, you know what? We know that you look ridiculous. No, I no, we don't know that. I'm a handsome man. You should take those pictures down immediately. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. All right, the ad. I'm going to go get you. What? Listen. If you was in a beauty contest, they wouldn't even let you go on it. Terrific stuff. You zing me, but good there, the ad. I'm going to let you go now, and uh, I'll look forward to catching up with you soon. All right. Oh, we got breaking news. I just seen. Hmm. Say again. Manny Ramirez signed with the Washington Nationals for one and a half million dollars a year. All right, now you're making up foolishness. All right, listen, the end. I don't want misinformation going out on my time. All right, listen, great talking to you again. Congratulations on being wrong about the Steelers. And uh, maybe by the time they kick it off in 2009, you'll have come around and started to get some respect for number seven, Big Ben Roethlisberger. You know what happened the last time they won the Super Bowl? Two things. The next year, the Colts won it, and the Steelers didn't make the playoffs. <laughs> Laugh it up, me and uh, me and my six rings uh, that uh, that I've earned as Listen, a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Listen, you don't Steelers even have fan. a Super Bowl ring. I got one. I don't know what that means. All right, listen. The end. Reggie Wayne sent me one when the Colts won. No, he didn't send you. Anything. He did. All right, good. Take a picture of that. I'd love to see pictures of you, too, by the way. Listen, i got to run the ad. Enough's enough with you. I appreciate the time. Thanks for uh, sharing your lunch break with all of us so we could chew you, uh, listen to you chew your curd. And uh, and maybe next time we'll get you without the food. It's getting hot. All right, I'm sorry to hear that. The ad, have a great day and have a great week. We'll catch up with you soon. Okay.